This is how you can make a vanity invite checker for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super god tier subscription on YouTube, or you could go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also offer the bot tier, which is a full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. You can also get any of these four bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go ahead and get into the code to do this we're going to start off by going over to community and we're going to go ahead and create a vanity check.js we're going to start by getting our slash command builder and we can get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package next we're going to do module.exports we can open this up we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we're going to go in and start off by setting a name which is going to be a vanity check we can go ahead and set a description which can be check to see if a vanity url is already taken then we're going to go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option to set name this is going to be vanity and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say the vanity to check and we're also going to go ahead and set required to true we're going to add a comma we can do async execute so we're going to go ahead and get our interaction here and we're also going to pass in our client and then we can open this up so we're going to start off by getting our options and that is going to be set equal to our interaction we can also do const vanity equals options that get string and that's going to be our vanity string now we're going to go ahead and write out our async function so this is going to be our send message and we're going to pass in our message parameter and our send parameter and then we can open this up we're going to go ahead and write out our embeds so that's going to be our new embed builder we can set a color and this is going to be blurple and we're also going to go ahead and say a description which is going to be message then we're going to say if send we can open this up we can do a wait interaction to reply and we're going to go ahead and say content and we're going to say discord.gg slash and we can go ahead and get our vanity variable then we're going to go ahead and get our embeds which is going to be our embed and we're also going to go ahead and set informal on that message to true then we're going to go ahead and say else here and we can do a wait interaction to reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds and we're going to get our embed and we're going to go ahead and set informal to true on that message as well so essentially we're just checking to see if we should include that discord invite link into that message or not depending on what type of message we're trying to send here then we're going to go ahead and do var invite equals wait client dot fetch invite and we're going to get our vanity variable we can get with counts which is going to be true and then we're going to go ahead and catch an error here as well because if the invite does not exist it's going to go ahead and fire off an error and if we get that we're going to go ahead and handle that later we're going to go ahead and do var and invite message so we can do msg equals and i'm just going to go ahead and get a globe emoji and we can go ahead and say the vanity invite and we can go ahead and get our vanity variable then we can go ahead and say is and we can do not taken by a server and just like that so we're going to go ahead and send this message every time the vanity is not taken by a guild so to do that we're going to say if no invites then we can go ahead and do a wait send message and we're just going to go ahead and get our n invite message so after we do that we're going to make a else check here and we're going to start off by making a pretty big logical statement because this is not all we have to do to check to see if the vanity does not exist uh, we have to do a couple more checks so we're going to go and say if no invite.guilds or no invite.guild.vanity url code we can do or and we can do invite.guild.vanity url code and then we can do is not equal to and we can do vanity uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and return await send message and we're going to go ahead and send our n invite message just like that. So essentially what we're primarily doing here is we're checking to see if the invite vanity code is not equal to our vanity. Now the reason we would be doing this is this is a vanity checker. You could in theory put an entire discord invite in like the actual invite code and not a vanity and it would pull up the invite. But of course that invite code that you might have generated by clicking clicking on the invite button is not going to be the vanity and the whole point of the system is to check to see if the vanity is taken or not and so to do that we have to make sure the invite the actual guild vanity is equal to our vanity that we're putting in as a string so that's essentially what we're doing there among other things just to make sure that we do actually have a valid guild 
So if we do have a guild, then we can go ahead and say await, send message. And we're going to go ahead and write out a pretty big message here. So we're just going to go ahead and say it looks like the vanity. And we can get our vanity variable. And then we can go ahead and say is taken. We can do buy. And then we can do discord.gg slash. And we can go ahead and do our vanity. Then we can do two backslash ends. And we can bold. And we're going to get our invite.guild.name. We can do an S. And we can go ahead and say servers features. We can go ahead and finish that off. We're going to do a backslash and then an arrow. We can do member account. And we're going to go ahead and get our member count. So it's going to be invite.member count. And then we can do a backslash n. We're going to do an arrow. We can go ahead and get our server ID. We can do the same thing, but this is going to be our invite.guild.id. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do a backslash n. We can do an arrow. We can go ahead and say server description. And this is going to be our invite.guild. And we can do that description. And then we're going to do the or operator. And then we're going to go ahead and say none. And then we can go ahead and do two backslash ends and we can go ahead and say this server holds the invites and we can do vanity and we can do another backslash take and then we're going to go ahead and say meaning it is not usable by anyone else. Then we're going to go ahead and set the send parameter on that to true and we're essentially making it so when we set that to true we're actually going to go ahead and send the invites as message content. And by doing this, what we're going to essentially do is embed that invite so it looks a little bit nicer. So with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord, we can go ahead and test this out. I'm just going to go ahead and run our command. And I'm going to go ahead and get my invite vanity because I know this is taken. Now, when it is taken, it's going to go ahead and say it looks like the vanity code uh, is taken by. And then it's going to give me all of this information on the server as well as the link that I could go ahead and join. Now, let's see what happens if we test a vanity that is not taken. Uh, we could just go ahead and spam our keyboard or something, uh, and it's going to say the vanity invite, and then that is not taken by a server. Now, some things that you might know, uh, if you try to do Discord, obviously that's not going to be taken, but you can't use it. Um, there's a lot of other things uh, that you could test out as well. There's a lot of vanities that aren't taken, um, but essentially the feature that you're trying to use here is... Um, before you boost, you could go ahead and run this command to try to see what your vanity would be. Because let's say I wanted to change my vanity to maybe just code, then we send it. Now, as you can see here, the actual code vanity is taken. So I wouldn't go ahead and try to test it because I already know it's taken and I have all of the information of the server that took my vanity. Now we could try to do a bunch of other things. We could do this one. Um, and that one's obviously not taken, so I could go ahead and change that if I wanted to. But that would be the point of this feature. Like, let's say I wanted to change this to my YouTube account name. Um, then I would be able to run it. I'd be able to see that it's not taken. And I'd be able to put it in my vanity. So that's you can make a vanity code checker for your Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here. It'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.